Hey fire signs, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. Um, so fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, this is for you. Cross watchers are welcome here as well. General messages for the week of the 1st of May through the 7th, give or take a couple of days, you guys, okay? Um, the first thing I got for the fire signs this week is um, Just Hold On, We're Going Home by Drake. And then the secondary song was Touch the Sky by Kanye and Lupe Fiasco. Um, preparing the cards for you guys this week, fire signs, the tarot cards, the seven of swords kept coming out repeatedly. Okay. It came out three times. Um, something about things happening in threes or maybe the number three is very significant or confirmation for you, but the seven of swords kept popping out. Then I saw the seven of wands. So I, I kind of feel as if, um, I saw a couple of other, other cards as well. And I feel like you guys, there's this energy of you doubting something working out for you or something working out for the best, um, working with someone, some sort of collaboration or maybe work overall as a whole. Um, but just intuitively I'm hearing the sky is the limit for you guys. So there's a need for you to, it's almost like you're not trusting how situation is going to play out or you're not fully trusting, putting your trust into someone else. Um, but there's a need for you to hold on just a little bit longer. I feel like you guys have a lot of support or somebody who's around you who wants to offer you a lot of support. Um, but it's, I don't know if it's, it's triggering. Something here is triggering something about your safety. It could be your financial safety, um, or just your safety in any type of relationship dynamic. I feel like it's triggering for you guys, but try to focus on the light this week, fire signs, because whatever is going on, I feel as if all is going to work out for your greatest and highest good anyway. Okay. Um, and I'm seeing this mask card. I'm also seeing between the lines. So it's like, you could not, it, there could also be something you're not being honest about with yourself, fire signs. Maybe you are in a gray area, okay, about a certain situation. Maybe you don't know what to choose, what to pick, how to move forward. Um, but I do kind of feel like there's something maybe you're not being honest with yourself about. This hookup card, this is the second time it's been trying to come out. And it's just giving me the energy of something that's very tem temporary. It's giving me the energy of time for sure. And divine timing is at the bottom of the deck here. So something is very temporary or something is um, short-lived. Maybe it's this mood change, this mood swing, whatever's going on with your energy. Friends and liquid courage. Maybe you guys just need to like loosen up a bit here. Um, addiction, intu intuition, relationship. It's for like, it feels like you guys are obsessing over a connection um, or so, some sort of opportunity, some sort of contract. Maybe it's your job, a family connection, relationship, parent, child, whatever. Um, but it feels like you could be over analyzing a situation. So um, I got the same energy from the. Honestly, it's kind of collective, but I for sure get the same energy from the water sign. So you could be um, dealing with the water sign. Maybe you have water in your chart, however it resonates for you. Okay, fire sign. So we're going to start off with the love oracle. Messages from here could pertain to internal love, self-love, or any type of external love. Um, and then we'll move on to the psychic oracle and the tarot for extra messages for this week. So if you haven't already, go ahead and like the video, comment, I comment back, share, and of course, subscribe. The more you interact with the content here on the channel, the more push your energy into these messages and I can better pick up on what's going on with you. It's crazy that the change card popped out here because, uh, there was another intuitive message I had before starting the video that I completely just forgot about, but it's almost like. Either this is how you're feeling in regards to someone or someone in regards to you, fire signs. It's almost like you are struggling with um, believing, okay? Struggling with believing that something has changed or struggling with believing that someone has changed for the better. Um, struggling to believe that there's some sort of old or like um, bad or toxic or codependent, low vibrational behaviors or patterns that someone may have had in the past. So you could be questioning if somebody has really changed, if someone is really genuine, um, something like that. But there's positive change here. So try to not overthink it, overanalyze it, okay? Um, or maybe you're doubting yourself. Maybe you're doubting your ability, your own ability to change or be different or do something differently or achieve something here. But there's positive change on the horizon. 
we also have secret crush at the bottom of the deck so there is someone who is very much so um into you infatuated with you liking you um enjoying your energy exchanging your energy adoring you picking you choosing you for something it's a positive change that's happening here either this opportunity this person is already in your life and you're just again struggling with you know accepting it or being open and vulnerable to it um or this is just some sort of positive change new spark that is happening in your life this week we also have but we have regret and we have ex-lover and we have toxic relationship so it could be a lot of uh residual energy from traumatizing situations relationships whatever the case is for you fire signs um, that's making you not be fully open to receiving this new connection or this new blessing or this new change or whatever is happening in your life currently um, or sparking this week, okay? Text message, crossroads. You could also just be receiving, you know, some sort of communication from someone who betrayed you. Um, it's something about like the memory of, of something that wasn't pleasant for you at all that could be overshadowing this goodness and this abundance that's in your life currently or trying to come in. So just be cautious of where you're placing your energy this week, fire signs, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have truth, okay? So what did I say? It's something about like maybe you're in denial about something or it's like a vulnerability or needing to like accept something, needing to walk into this moment of truth or speak your truth or just be completely free and vulnerable in a situation. It's like wanting to, but something about the safety factor of it or possibly continuing uh, needing to heal or let go of certain energies here. Um, a Libra could be significant for you, does not have to be. So you can move forward. Yeah, it's like you need to, It's you're holding yourself back in a situation. It could be emotionally, mentally spiritually physically financially whatever it is for you in regards to your creativity your gifts your talents um there's something here that you need to move past okay i almost want to say get over but not get over you need to get through fire signs so you can come out on the other side here the sun card is always showing up for you guys in your readings it is your energy leo energy um but just the colors of yellow and orange and brightness and prosperity always shows up for you guys sacral chakra moving towards there's something that like you've always wanted and desired or you truly want and desire now um but yeah, even with this gift card here, it's like a divine gift for you, but it's like still holding on to a lot of hurt, a lot of trauma, or trying to figure out how to heal through it, maneuver through it that's causing the issue here. Victory and success, recognition and reward. But if you can do so, you are definitely in alignment with something that is so good for you, regardless of if it's a relationship, a career situation, uh, whatever it is for you. I almost wanted to put the deck to the side <laughs> without pulling for y'all. That's how like reassuring the energy is. That's how secure the energy is in regards to whatever this is for you. Because you've sacrificed a lot to be here to receive this, okay? Whatever this is for you, fire signs. We have moving on. You're moving on. You've sacrificed a lot. Also, you're moving into an energy where it's maybe you're used to doing everything, handling everything, holding all of the weight, the baggage, whatever the case may be. Um, and I feel like you've worked hard enough. You're moving into an energy where it's maybe you don't have to work as hard. Maybe someone is just very supportive of you. Like they don't want you to lift a finger or they don't want you to exert yourself. And it's very foreign for you to have this energy, for you to be treated like this, for you to trust it, okay? Um, and I feel like that's an issue with a lot of you guys are battling with this week is letting your guard down or control issues needing to be in charge of everything and control the situations even if it's coming from you know a positive mindset or intention but you're moving into something that's brand new firm foundation okay but obstacles and challenges it's a risk like there's no reward without the risk whether the risk being you trusting you leaping you having faith you letting go of past whatever no reward without the risk is what i'm hearing for you guys so let's put this back and then, yeah, these are the other two cards that were face down. So temptation and power, needing to overcome this negative mindset, okay? Or, or whatever the addiction is, whatever the habits are, the patterns are for you so that you can have this new beginning. And then you have disruption here, okay? It's like something you're holding on to you, uh, holding on to, okay? Something, or maybe somebody's trying to hold on to you, but something that you're holding on to is doing more harm than it is helping at this point. Somebody's name could start with the letter H, Okay, I feel like I always, not always, but often pick up on Heather. I don't know why that's significant. 
Um, but Heather, but just also the energy of being light, light as a feather. Feathers could be significant or a confirmation for you. This temptation card keeps peeping out. So either this is you versus you, or this is some sort of energy outside of you that's steadily trying to trigger you. Okay. But a lot of y'all are what? Focused on the light. So let's see. All right. Mental strength, crown chakra, spirit, who or what is coming towards the fire signs this week? That light card came right back out. Who or what is coming towards the fire signs this week? Okay, I feel like you guys are being granted some sort of opportunity here, material and spiritual prosperity. And behind that, we got spiritual union, okay? You suffered enough. It's almost like, like this is your time. Suffering has had its time. Now it's time for you to enjoy something, enjoy life, enjoy yourself, be confident, be carefree. I keep seeing like recognition and reward, prosperity, spirit. What's going on with the fire signs this week? But it could be someone very much so still trying to hold on to you, okay? Or parts of you holding yourself back. Emotional loss with the universe. Yeah, this energy of loss, this energy of um, lack, this energy of alone, abandonment, not feeling... Uh, abandonment not feeling supported it's over here universe is stepping in for you guys divine alignment okay there's the energy is shifting for you guys in a positive way we have patience and we have harmony yeah i feel like you've already been very patient or you've sown good seeds you've planted good seeds okay so now you're reaping the benefit of some sort of reward here if you guys have already taken a risk in the past you're receiving the reward this week some sort of balance and harmony is taking place for you emphasis on like a duality two people two things okay the number two something is just happening in like doubles or triples for you guys or both two and five breaking two and three breaking down to a five which is about change all of the elements this week have a heavy emphasis emphasis on changes, okay? Things changing, change being inevitable, um, going with the ebb and flow of life, allowing things to fall into place, to fall out of line so they could fall into place, okay? Your heart chakra with foundation and achievements. What I say, doubles or triples? Now we have uh, two cards of number four. Um, and then I just keep getting the letter H for some reason, but foundations and achievements with your heart chakra. This is your wants, your desires. This is fulfillment. This is clarity. This is comfortability. This is being able to be vulnerable fire signs. Okay. It's a need for you to be open to it. Cause I feel like this is well-deserved here. A lot of y'all, it's just like you're so used to going through some sort of trauma or difficulties or challenges. If it's not one thing, it's the other. And now it's like the energy is clearing, whereas you don't have to worry about a lot of things you used to have to worry about. Um, but the rest of you needs time to, to catch up to what's happening in the physical, the mental, the emotional, the spiritual needs time to catch up is what it feels like. So be gentle with yourself, but we have love begins. Yeah, a lot of y'all, this is definitely some sort of connection in regards to love or somebody, even if it's a friend, like somebody who is genuine, who really wants to be there for you. It's a lot of support. Okay, we got fertility, growth, and abundance. Then we have power again with the temptation card. So it's a power struggle or ego struggle. Be cautious to not allow your ego to get into the way or block some sort of blessing for you. Okay, shadow card. But I feel like a lot of y'all have done the shadow work or this is confirmation of you coming out of some sort of struggle, some sort of trying times, challenge with the card number five. Financial material changes. A lot of you guys, this is financial security that's coming in. Okay, um, solitude, authority. It's like... I don't know. I feel like you guys worked very hard for something, but maybe you're just being too hard on yourself. It feels very well deserved. Okay. Like you deserve this attention, this recognition, this reward, this praise, this payout. Um, but something is making you feel as if, I don't know if you just don't feel good enough or you're doubting the ability of this whole thing working out or something about your confidence. Um, some sort of mood swing type energy, which I've been getting for the collective this week. Okay. Uh, and at the bottom of the deck, we got the nine of swords. So yeah, this is like, but the nine, it's like, I kind of feel like the worst has already happened. Okay. Like the best is to come. You've already been through the hardest part of whatever transition transformation you've been going through. Um, so maybe it's happy tears. Maybe it's tears of like release and joy all mixed into one. What did I say? I feel like y'all have been through the worst. The worst is over. Nine of swords. The completion is the 10. The 10 of swords. Like it's over with. So be cautious that you're not 
crying over spilled milk okay i'm trying to be very sensitive to you guys's emotions right now like i don't want to say anything whereas you take it the wrong way so maybe this is how people are treating you or you're trying to treat someone or maybe you're just feeling very sensitive this week for whatever reasons but it's like whatever try not to don't mourn a situation two times around okay so um whatever it has been and i know it's very case by case especially if it comes to like the loss of the actual person no longer being here um definitely taking your time and, and healing through that and mourning the loss of someone like i get it but if it's something that has already happened and you're just kind of hung up on it and it's just a need for you to move forward um just don't relive situations don't that don't make you feel good again okay don't revisit the past when it comes to that don't let your your emotions and your mind play tricks on you and get the best of you seven of cups Five of Pentacles, okay, Six of Wands, Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. It's good news that's here, okay? So let's see. Um, and it, this goodness, maybe it's attached to, I don't know. It's like maybe there's something or someone that's trying to hold on to you. Um, or maybe this change, this good change for you is attached to something that might not be so good or the best for someone else. Okay, Two of Cups here. It could be a relationship that's taking place, Knight of Wands. Hey man, eight of cups, seven of pentacles. Um, could be a decision for you to like be independent or separate from someone. It's like somebody is definitely trying to hold on to you, fire signs, okay? Or maybe you're trying to hold on to someone else or you're holding on to something that's not good for you. Spirit, what messages do we have for the fire signs this week? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Who or what is coming towards them? Okay, Pisces energy, hangman, and the eight of swords. But this is you. Um, it's something about changing your perspective or needing to gain a better perspective. Think of something differently. Transmute the energy into something positive. Um, or find ways to utilize your energy if you feel like, you know, um, some of you guys have been staying busy or you need to stay busy so that your thoughts won't get the best of you this week is what I'm picking up on. But I see like a calmness that's coming towards you or some sort of clarity um, you're reaching or just thinking of things in a much more peaceful manner this week. The Ace of Pentacles. I think the water signs had this. So water is showing up here um, or the earth signs too. Something about water and earth signs for you guys. Ace of Pentacles with the Two of Swords. What else, Spirit? The Ace of Cups and the Sun card. The Sun card always shows up for you fire signs in your reading. Always. This is bliss. This is happiness. Okay. This is, it's like you're being chosen for something. It's like you're in your head about something or someone that's already yours. It's already a given, okay? So I don't know why you're questioning it or why you're stuck in some sort of type of energy or imprisonment, okay? Temperance card. So Leo, you're here. Sagittarius, you're here, okay? All we need is like the like a Aries card. Um, but you're moving into calmer waters. Like you're protected. This temperance card is protection. It's divine protection here. Okay. Um, angelic protection here. And even this, this is a very angelic card, spirit guide card. And this is my spirit guide card with spirit guiding you to this peace of mind, this clarity, whatever you're overthinking is already handled, is already taken care of. You're already safe. It's already secured. Like you trying to figure out the details of it, the who, what, when, why, or figure out maybe you're looking too deep into something or researching something okay the page of source might come out whatever it is it's like it's already handled it's already yours it's already taken care of um so don't worry about it fire signs we got the three of wands and we got the six of cups what's incoming is something that's long term it feels like home longevity is okay it's very emotional fulfilling it's very light-hearted it's very free okay um somebody some of you guys could have someone from your past wanting to reach out to you and offer you something or someone wanting to like reconcile or work with you or something like that and you're just not feeling it um but i do feel the energy of longevity like something or someone that's going to stick around for a very long time coming in for you guys this week but the nine of wands is that defensiveness you got the ace of cups with the sun card here all of this good energy but it's like you still not trusting it whether you're not trusting yourself or the situation as a whole or someone else nine of wands with the four of wands yeah something that's for you something that is contracted okay divinely contracted here this is yours whatever it is a home a closing on something a relationship a marriage it's like it's almost like it feels too good to be true here or 
I don't know. It just feels like some triggers. Maybe old trauma or something is trying to block some sort of blessing for you. Or somebody is trying to trigger you. Somebody is trying to project some sort of emotions or thoughts onto you. Give you bad advice. Help make you think your way out of this blessing or something like that. Um, Six of Pentacles. Some of you guys may not feel as if that if you're involved with someone, something from the past is over. Um, or it's just a transitional period for you. Maybe it's taking time for you to adjust to a certain type of lifestyle again or change, but it's for the better here. We got the 10 of pentacles right behind the six of pentacles. And then we have the two of wands. Okay. The five of cups, the page of swords, the moon card. It's like, you're looking for something to go wrong. Seven of wands, four of cups out of like, um, it's like a defense mechanism out of like fear or, you know, actual traumas that took place in your life here. But something here is very, um, something here is very, uh, Ooh, what am I trying to say? Something here is very secure. I almost want to say significant, secure. And then the number six is showing up here too. So the letter uh, S is very significant for you guys this week. And then you got six. I was going to say you got six double, but you got six three times. The six of swords, the six of cups, and the six of pentacles, okay? Um, the only thing that's missing is the six of wands, which is you basking in the reward, basking in what you deserve here. So that's what needs to show up. If something that's here is for you and you need to act like it, okay? So I'm going to leave it here. Leave me a comment below letting me know how this resonates for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, you guys. And I will see you next time.